Welcome to Think Asium Lab, episode 22. In this episode, we reflect on where humanity came from, where we may be headed, and how values can help us in that journey. It's based on a recent article by Dr. Ramu Bishwakarma, published on Medium from Stardust to Superintelligence. About 4.8 billion years ago, Earth was born from Stardust, a glowing fireball formed in the chaos of the cosmos. Over time, it cooled, oceans formed, and life quietly began to stir. Roughly 3.5 billion years ago, tiny microorganisms emerged, the earliest life forms. Fast forward to just 100,000 years ago and modern humans arrived. In only a few thousand years, we built languages, cities, traditions, and technologies that reshaped the planet. In such a short time, we've transformed everything. We've decoded DNA, connected the globe, and sent machines into space. So the question is, what will the next 100 to 200 years bring? Our greatest strength has never been physical power. It's our ability to imagine and to believe in shared ideas. That's how we've built everything from villages to nations to global science. Economist Paul Romer called this idea-driven development. Our future now depends more on creativity than brute force. But progress doesn't just happen. It reflects the values we choose to protect or ignore. In 2021, researchers solved a major scientific puzzle, how proteins fold. This discovery opened doors to faster cures and deeper understanding of the human body. As our tools become more capable, the question isn't just what they can do, it's how we use them, who benefits, and how we make sure no one is left behind. We're also learning how to edit life itself. With technologies like CRISPR, we can target genetic diseases and perhaps eliminate them. But powerful tools also bring hard questions. What does fairness look like when we can change biology? Who gets to decide what's an improvement? That's why global conversations, but I'm grounded in ethics, science, and community, are more important than ever. At the same time, our eyes are turning upward. Private companies and national space programs are preparing for long-term missions, even future settlements beyond Earth. Stephen Hawking once said that our survival may depend on reaching other planets, but Earth is still the only home we have. As we dream of Mars, we must take care of the ground beneath our feet. Space exploration and planet protection must go hand in hand. Through it all, one thing is clear. Our humanity must remain at the center. True progress isn't about having more, it's about being more. As philosopher Martha Nussbaum reminds us, human development is about expanding what people are capable of doing and becoming. The more powerful our technologies become, the more important it is to stay grounded in empathy, fairness, and responsibility. We are no longer just shaped by evolution, we are now shaping it. But what anchors us? What keeps us whole? Philosopher Alastair McIntyre warned that without a shared moral framework, societies can lose their direction. In a world of rapid change, we need courage, humility, respect, and justice. Not as lofty ideals, but as tools for navigating the unknown. We are made of stardust, and in a blink of cosmic time, we've built civilizations, cured diseases, and begun to reach for the stars. The century ahead may bring new wonders, cures for illness, smarter tools, and perhaps homes on other worlds. But without a strong moral foundation, even the most dazzling advances could deepen division. That's why our next steps must be guided by both bold vision and grounded values. If we get that balance right, the most inspiring chapters of humanity may still lie ahead. That's all we have for this episode. Following references were used in Dr. Bishwakarma's article and in this video. Harari Sapiens 2011. Kurzweil, The Singularity is Near, 2005. Dudna and Sternberg, A Crack in Creation, 2017. Jumper et Albus Alpha Fold, Nature, Domeni Vintium. Romer, Economic Growth, Econ Lib, 2008. Nussbaum, Creating Capabilities, 2011. Hawking, Brief Answers to the Big Questions, 2018. Nuffield Council on Bioethics 2016. McIntyre After Virtue 2007. Thank you for watching. If this sparked a thought, please like, share, and subscribe our channel. Stay thoughtful, and see you in the next episode.